I do not condone any of these methods shown in this video to be used to copy and steal and replicate mods. Hello and welcome back to another Daisy King Skyline YouTube tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at reskinning modded weapons. We are going to need a couple of things today. One will be Daisy tools with your game data extracted and your P drive mounted. <coughs> we are going to be using Makiro's AIO installer, which includes DPBO tools and eliteness. If you don't get this AIO installer, this is probably not going to work. You just hit download and you click open and it will run. Click keep keep and run it away wait for the screen to come back and you just run the Makiro's uh, for some reason Edge doesn't like it for me keep showing up as a virus it's not a virus you use a respected set of tools in the community um, you can also use PBO manager 1.4 beta or something I don't know but Mikiro's is the best way to go. So today we are going to be looking at reskin as weapons. So we're going to go into our P drive and create a folder called YouTube mod weapons. Okay, and inside our old YouTube weapons file, we're going to copy the config from the first bit and we're going to paste it inside here into our YouTube mod weapons folder. In here, we're gonna create a data folder. Okay, so now our little mod is set up here. So we're going to need to go and look inside our Steam Workshop. So you can find this in your Steam apps, common, Daisy, normally in your workshop folder. This is normally hidden, so you might need to click view and make sure hidden items is selected. You can also do this through the options. So inside our workshop folder, we're gonna go and find the mod that we're gonna to use to reskin. So I'm going to use my weapons pack. If I actually subscribe to it, I am subscribed to it. Okay. So let's see if we can go and find that weapons there we go so inside our DH weapons we are going to be looking for the file that contains our weapon that we're going to want to reskin I'm going to reskin one of my ARs today and being a nice mod creator I create all my files in separate PBOs so in here we're going to take a copy of the DH AR PBO and I'm going to put that on my desktop. Okay. So now with the Makiro's installed, we can go here and we can open with and extract all PBO types. Okay. This will use Makiro's DPBO tools. Okay. So this is now done. It says please press any key. So press any key. And now we can get rid of the DHAR PBO. Okay, so now we're going to open up the DHAR folders. We're going to have a look inside here and we're going to look for the gun that we're going to want to reskin. Today I'm going to reskin my M4A4. So we're going to go in there, we're going to take a copy of this config, we're going to put it inside our data folder. And inside the data folder inside my M4A4 is where my locations for my uh, textures go. So what we'll do is we'll go inside our config and we'll edit this a little bit. So as we can see, this is all laid out quite nicely and with Makiro's un uh, DPBO tools, you'll get this nice little stuff at the top. You can remove this. And what we'll do, because my guns normally have a base set up, so every other mod creator should be doing this. What we'll do is my hidden selection textures is already been called. If this has not been called, we can go and check inside the mod. 
and we can look at their P3D. We can open this up with Eliteness. We can check inside the gun P3D and we can see that this gun is using the camo selections of camo and camo one. Okay, so we know that this gun is using camo and camo one. So what we can do is we can double check and keep a copy of this so we can open a new file. We can put that in there just to make sure. We can also take the hidden selections textures. We can take a copy of that. We can put this inside a new file just to make sure. So right here, we can see that my guns are called DH underscore M4 underscore base. We can see this because my gun and my reskin of my gun also use the same base. So what we can do is we can delete the base. And we can delete any other pieces of config that we don't need. So that's just all uh, mags and stuff like that. Today, we're just going to be focusing purely on the weapon reskin. So we have our little config here. We can edit this and we can make sure our DH underscore base now replaces this rifle base. Does help when you copy it, Colin. Right. Okay. So now that says DH underscore M4 base. And we have the same here. We can change this to YouTube M4A4. Great. And we can do the same down here. And we'll make this underscore two. Great. Up the top here, we can remove the magazines. We can remove the weapons. We can also remove units. We want to keep a copy of this CFG patches up here. The name of it, we need to keep a copy of that. We need to put this in the required add-ons. So our mod pulls this mod or the creator's mod for the guns. So it gets the right config and knows what it's doing. So now we have our reskin we have our textures set up we can see that the bandage is the camo number two so we can bring the hidden selections textures back and just make sure these are double called so we know that camo one is most likely going to be the bandage So, we can now change this top CFG patches now we've copied it to YouTube Mod Weapons. We can save this to make sure we've definitely saved it and we will go and create the textures. So, we know that one of the textures was bandage underscore COPAA. We can copy that and M4 COPAA was the second one. Now we don't need the mod anymore we can go to text view we can convert these paas to pngs and we can do the same for the bandage all right so let's go and create a text and textures locations now so what we we'll do is we'll go up to our address bar and inside our data folder, we'll copy up to the folder name. We'll go inside our config now and we'll replace these two parts here. So the new folder location for these textures are the folders that we made. Okay. So let's make sure Photoshop's actually opening in our favorite photo editing software and we'll also bring in the bandage I think yep no I don't want it on that one I want an actual second copy okay we can see that the bandage is just a white texture if you play with the guns you know what the textures normally are 
but I'm just going to create a kind of overlay for this one and we'll go with the green luminous bandage style there we go probably helps if you save it there we go that do. and we can go over here this is our gun we can tell that this 37 is probably going to stay because I'm going to make it so we'll copy this out separately that will do that will do let's give the gun a new texture so we'll just go into any of the patterns that I've got and we'll give it a ooh. Uh, let's give it Disney texture okay so now we can save this as a PNG we can also do the same for the bandage as a PNG yes so now we can open up our text view we can see that the bandages are still saving, so we'll do the M4, convert the M4 PNG to a PAA. We can see that the bandage is also now done, so we'll do that too. Now we know our PAAs are definitely copied over and they're definitely working, we can get rid of the PNGs. Now we need to give our new texture name, so we'll go YouTube Bandage and we'll go YouTube M484. So what I'll do is I'll copy the names of these now and we'll go over into the config and we'll place these in the correct places. So YouTube M4A4 is going to be my two guns. And the YouTube bandage going to be the new to bandage texture. Okay. So we've got two versions of gun here. So our YouTube M4A4 texture could have been a different texture if we wanted. So now this is done, this should work in game. So we can save our config here and we can go and edit that first config that we put in this is dh youtube weapons we're going to turn this into dh youtube mod weapons you can call your cfg patches and your mod anything you want it doesn't have to be the same so let's save that let's create a new folder in our p drive and we'll call it at youtube mod weapons inside this we'll create a new folder called add-ons and now we can run add-on builder our source directory is going to be the first folder we made so youtube mod weapons the destination directory is going to be the add-ons folder that we just made Click to uh, clear temp folder, binarize, binarize all textures, and enable extended login. Click options. Make sure your files to copy directly are exactly as these are. If they're not, your gun may just appear white in game or no texture at all. So we'll hit OK and now we'll click pack. We'll wait for this to successfully happen. And once this successfully happens, we can go and load this in DayZ to test. Build successful. So now we can go to DayZ. Normally you would uh, run this up on a server. So you would make sure the mods are running anyway. But we need to make sure that the original weapons mod is actually running. So DH weapons is running. Now we can load our local mod. 
which is our YouTube mod weapons. So we have the DH weapons loaded and YouTube mod weapons. Now we can hit play and wait for Daisy to load and hopefully our texture and our gun is applied in game. And we can have an error, and I'm pretty sure I know what that is about. It's an error in my script. So I need to run CF with my mod. And let's try again. Happy days. That was not an error in us creating the mod. That is an error within DH Weapons Pack. It currently doesn't work unless you're running CF, which is a problem when we're trying to run in offline mode because we don't actually need CF. If you're using this to reskin DH weapons pack you will need to run CF in offline mode this doesn't affect the server usage so now we can go into object builder and we can type oh objective spawner we can type YouTube and there we go both of our M4s have custom textures as we see the Disney print on that we can see the green print on the bandage See if we can get a mag for it to spawn. So it can use the original DHN4 mags. There we go. A fully working modded weaponry texture. Thank you for watching. Hope this helped. Have a good day Z and I'll see you in the next one. Did you know that Devil's House Creations now has a Patreon page? We have two different membership levels. We have the Angel membership and the Devil membership. Both have access to the Devil's Island DayZ map when it comes out for alpha release. So if you haven't, come join us now.